Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So happy to have you here today for a new video. We're gonna be kicking off a little vlog, so just sharing life and everything for the next several days. Really excited to have you here for it. Um, today's April 1st, it's also a Monday, so feeling good about that. Hopefully it brings good stuff for this month. Um, I've got quite a bit of stuff on my to-do list today because I was out of town last week from Tuesday until Saturday. I was visiting my parents in Philly. I went home to surprise them, so that was really nice. Um, and then yesterday I caught up on all of, well, not even caught up, but I, you know, unpacked, did all the things, had like a nice bath, a nice long shower, did like some needle pointing and just like reset things. And now we're gonna, you know, pretty much hit the ground running with getting back to work stuff um, this week. So today I actually have a bit of stuff to do. Um, starting off with streaming, it's about to be 8.30 right now, which is usually around when I go live, probably like twice a week on YouTube playing Disney Dreamlight Valley. So if you're interested in checking out my live streams, um, make sure you're subscribed. Uh, but also make sure you check out the live tab. I usually schedule my streams um, in advance for the week. I did not do that yet for today, so I also need to schedule um, a second stream for later in the week. Um, so that's what's on the agenda so far. And then I've got some work stuff to do, um, just beginning of the month things and all that. I think Bill and I are going to go to Costco and uh, check out a new Costco location actually. So that should be interesting. And I also wanted to quickly mention that this month I'm actually going to be doing a low spend month. So not a full no buy, but I'm going to be focusing on limiting my spending to like specific categories and only essentials um, for the month of April. So I'm gonna be tracking like everything I spend and then I'm going to be documenting it all and sharing it in a video on here. Uh, it won't go up obviously until after the end of April. So it probably will go up like maybe the first weekend in May. I don't remember exactly what day I have it planned for, but make sure if you're interested in that, um, you know, you stay tuned and you'll maybe hear me mention it here and there through like other videos this month. Um, so yeah, that's what's going on. So let's go get to streaming. I think I probably need to honestly reheat my coffee already because I was like doing a bunch of stuff on the computer and now it's getting a little a little too warm and not hot enough, um, especially if I'm gonna go sit over there for like an hour. So let's go stream and get started with the day. We've been out and about. I got most of my work done. I have like one more thing to do when we get back home, but I got my stuff done. I had my stream, obviously, FaceTimed with my mom. Um, got lots of stuff done this morning. And then we went, uh, Bill came with me to one of the locations for my social media client. We got some photos and video stuff done, so that was good. And then we went to Whole Foods and Trader Joe's. We got Costco gas. And then we went into Costco. Um, we were gonna go to, I think I mentioned this, to one a different location than the one we normally go to, but we ended up just going to our usual location. Um, got gas, Bill's in the food court getting his late lunch. And I'm obviously sitting in the car waiting. I walked back to the car with the stuff. Um, so yeah, that's what's going on. So when we get home, I'll show you the stuff we got. And here is everything I got while we were out. So starting off with Whole Foods, this is my yogurt obsession lately. I love these. So I got two each of the mango passion fruit, peach, strawberry, three wishes cereal was on sale. It was like five something. And normally it's like close to seven plus dollars. So I got two of honey and fruity. Both of these are vegan and they're so good. I also got the purely as Elizabeth vanilla chocolate chip granola. That's to go with the yogurt. And then I got some vegan chicken nuggets. Um, this is not my favorite, like kind of them, but honestly the Whole Foods brand is so much cheaper than like most other meat alternatives. So that's what I got. And then also at Whole Foods actually, nail polish remover, iron, and my multivitamin because I'm running out of this and almost out of those two. And then at Trader Joe's, we got a couple of my favorite Go Macro bar flavor, the Protein Pleasure needed salt and pepper, two of my favorite fried rice, some animal crackers. And then at Costco, I got two of these green goddess chopped salad kits. Um, and I like adding in some chickpeas into this, which I already have. And then I got a thing of strawberries. So 
that's everything I got. Plus, obviously, Bill got stuff for himself, so I'm gonna put everything away now. I should be finishing up my work first, but I really just need a little breather, so I'm doing some stitching, catching up on grays. I'm, like, two episodes behind, so doing that. I have obviously finished all of this up here except for the pink, um, and now I'm gonna start, I'm gonna do the white uh, here to the end of this, and then I'm gonna do this side, and then I'm gonna fill this part in, do this, and then same thing, do down here, fill this in, and then um, go probably do maybe like this white part, and then I'll do all the X's and O's in white, and then I'll finally get to all the pink. So that's where we're at so far with my needlepoint project. Okay, and here's the progress. Two episodes of Grey's done. And I don't know how many rows that is, but basically from here to here was done. So maybe if I decide to stitch more later, I'll do this section um, and then I'll probably leave this for tomorrow or the next day. And the oven just beeped because it's time to go prep dinner. For tonight's dinner, we've got some pasta. Love this stuff, it's really good. Um, yeah, it was on sale recently at Pavilions and we grabbed a couple boxes. So gonna do this um bill's gonna have it with some rayos and i'm probably gonna have it with some butter or i might make like try to make my own like kind of like creamy type sauce because i'm gonna cook some mushrooms as well so i was thinking like a mushroom truffley type sauce would be good and then we also have these um vegan meatballs so i'm gonna cook up a couple of those as well and that's gonna be dinner good morning everyone happy tuesday getting started with the day of course in the same spot where i always am um my little desk at the dining room table so getting started with the day i've got some work stuff to do hopefully i'm gonna get some freelance pitches sent out today which i do not do as often as i would like because i'm usually busy with my own like just regular assignments and like long-term projects, my social media clients and stuff, but I'd like to do that today. Um, I'm also working on our tax stuff, which is not so fun, but I'm going to try to keep a smile on my face about it anyway. Um, I had originally wanted to go to Disneyland today, but the there were no reservations available and I kept refreshing and normally I'm always able to get one if I need it for a certain day, but this was like the first time ever, I think in the almost three years we've had our pass that I wasn't able to get one. Um, so but I did get one for tomorrow. I booked that a couple days ago, but I was just hoping I'd be able to modify it and switch it to today, but not an option apparently. So that's okay. So we're going to go tomorrow to Disney. Um, and yeah, that's stuff on the agenda today. I was hoping we were going to be able to go to a movie today to see the new um, Ghostbusters, but it says no passes on the thing when I look at it. So I'm going to have to ask Bill about it because we got a thing for a free movie ticket um, or a free movie ticket because Excluding VIPs. Hmm. Uh, I guess we're gonna have to ask. Um, upgrades to exclude showtimes may not be permitted. Okay, I don't know, we'll see. He got a free like ticket because he went and saw a movie recently and it had Spanish subtitles like on the bottom, even though it was um, in English and it wasn't like listed as being, like having subtitles and he said it was fine, but then like at the end of the movie, they were handing out these passes to everyone. And he has the Regal Unlimited thing. He just got like a trial of it or something. So he was, we were gonna use my, that free one for me. So we could go see the new Ghostbusters, but it says no passes when I look at it. So we'll see if that works or not. Um, anyway, that's the stuff on the agenda for today. And so I'm gonna drink my coffee. I'm gonna just get the lay of the land with my computer stuff today and just get started with another work day. Just got two new needlepoint canvases in the mail, so I'm gonna show you real quick. So I ordered both of these from Chaparral in Dallas. You can find them at ndlpt.com, and they had a really easy to use uh, order form from the Spring Needlepoint Show, which just happened like two weekends ago. And it basically is like a giant trunk show or um, yeah, like a market for 
uh, different needlepoint designers to set up all of their designs and then the stores go in and they buy things, you know, in bulk at wholesale um, for their stores. So I was able to order because they had like a really nice order form that, you know, I was able to go on and search a bunch of different stores. They were posting like their market previews and stuff. So I found both of these and I was like, I really want them. And so I was able to fill out the form and say, this is what I wanted. And then they got it for me, sent me an invoice and here we are. So anyway, this is my initial K studio. And just in case they're not available at Chaparral, because, you know, the stock kind of varies uh, from store to store, obviously, like based on how much they were able to get in and everything. So I will try to link these down below, if not from Chaparral, then a different needlepoint store wherever I can find them. But this is just really cute, it says needlepoint stash, and I'm gonna have this finished once I'm done with it into like a little zip top clutch. I thought it would be really cute to do that with like a pink fabric and like a pink zipper and everything, so love that. And while I was at home in Philly last week, I went to Rittenhouse Needlepoint and I picked up the stretcher bars for this because I've been using stretcher bars for my uh, current whip that I'm doing, my pillow that I shared, and I'm really liking working on the stretcher bars so I figured it would be nice to have them for this as well so I looked up what the size of the canvas was for this and I bought the stretcher bars so this should be perfect and I just need to get fibers for it I know I mentioned I'm doing a low buy but um or a low spend month but I will be going and getting some fibers for this because I'm gonna need it um because I would like to do it relatively soon and I think I want to try doing like some fun stitches for this I think it would be really cool um, to do that so that's the first thing this I'm so excited about put your guesses in the comments um, of what this is I will share with you but this is the practical magic house um, which is one of my favorite movies I absolutely love it so I think I'm actually gonna save this and do it um, and stitch it during the um, like fall and winter especially because I have this I have this, I have my other whip, and I'm probably, you know, will be purchasing other things. So I'd like to have this to save for the fall, especially because honestly, I don't feel confident enough yet to work on 18. And I am going to have to get, you know, a bunch of different fibers and everything because I can't use, I don't think, silk and ivory for this. So anyway, I'm really excited about this. I just think it's so cute. And I want to have this finished into like a little hanging ornament, but I'm going to hang it um, and probably just leave it up all year round. Um, and I just think it's so cute. So those are the two new needlepoint arrivals. Going to go back to stitching on the couch because that was what I was doing before um, when these arrived. And I was having some strawberries. So I'm going to go do that for a bit. Movie date with my husband. Back home from the movies. I liked it, but I think that I liked Ghostbusters Afterlife, which was the one that came out like three years ago in 2021. I think I liked that one more but still good, good time. Um, our theater was also pretty empty and Bill just went, um, he dropped me off and then he went to Pavilions to grab himself a couple of things because when we were at Costco, he got himself a rotisserie chicken, um, which this is like $4.99 there, which is a very good deal compared to how much a rotisserie chicken would cost at um, like Whole Foods and stuff. And I'm going to make him some chicken noodle soup so we've got the chicken, we've got the veggies, you know, all the stuff back here. So I'm going to get started on that. I'm probably going to put a podcast on and like an apron. I've also, the past couple times I've made this for him, the chicken has always been hot. Like I've made it like right when we brought it home, but we got this yesterday. So I think it probably is going to be a little bit harder for me to like shred it well with my hands. Um, but we'll see how it goes. So gonna put on a podcast or something and get started good morning from the pixar pals parking lot at disneyland um bill and i are here at disney today we're gonna be here for a few hours and i'm probably just gonna insert here the vlog that i film like vertically for tiktok um just so i don't have to like double film and everything and because i like filming my little disney vlogs for tiktok so i'm gonna insert that now and excited for our day here. It is a busy day here at Disneyland. Da -da -da. It's stuck. Wow. You like it? Into Fantasyland we go. Time for breakfast. My favorite little town harvest bowl at Red Rose. 
time for Runaway Railway. You're all waltzing so beautifully together. Oh. Hi, duckies. Time for a beautiful strawberry dole whip that kind of matches my nails. I just started a low spend month, but if I did not, this would be coming home with me. It's so cute. I feel like this has not been a very exciting vlog because we're considering leaving right now because it's very hot. Well, it's not that hot, but it's very crowded. So it's making it feel warmer. First sign of Pixar Fest coming later this month. When this is all opened up again, it's gonna be so nice. Can't wait for Din Tai Fung to open. Oh, it's gonna be so nice. Obviously we're back home from Disney now. I had a call with my social media client for like over an hour and 20 plus minutes. We weren't even talking about work the whole time. We were talking about lots of things, but I had that and then I just had a salad and now I'm gonna go hop in the shower. I think I'm gonna use my Cocoa Kind um, Sea Kale Clay Mask. I'm gonna like take my makeup off and then I'm gonna put it on and have it on while I'm in the shower while I wash my hair and everything else. Um, and then I have some work stuff to do on the computer and then uh, I'm probably gonna relax and needle point for the rest of the night. Feeling all clean and cozy in my pajamas, hair is washed and fresh. Um, I did some stitching while I was letting my hair air dry for a bit because I usually do that um, for like 15 to 20 minutes before I use my air wrap. And now I'm about to make some brownies. It's only, it's like right after six o'clock. Um, but I'm honestly feeling very tired and like I could go to bed soon. Um, but I'm going to make these. Bill and I are going to catch up. We have two episodes of The Rookie to watch, one episode of X-Men and maybe like three or four episodes of Abbott. Um, I think three. Um, so we have a bit of TV to catch up on. So we're gonna see how long I can last because like I just said, I am a little tired. Um, but I'm gonna make these and thinking that's gonna be probably it for the rest of the night. So I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. It is Thursday and I just finished up with my stream. Um, I went to bed pretty early last night. I was asleep by like 9.15 probably. And but then this morning I woke up at like 5.30 naturally and I got up, like walked around, went to the bathroom and I was like, oh, I still feel like kind of tired. Let me try to lay back down. But that was just a horrible idea because then I just kept waking up and falling back asleep and I feel like I never got actual like good sleep. So then by the time I got out of bed at like eight, even though my alarms had been set for like seven, I just kept like, yeah, I just kept waking up and falling back to sleep and I was uncomfortable and like my head and my neck hurt now pretty badly. So it's okay. Um, I had my coffee, did my stream and now I'm gonna get to some work stuff. I just heated up my breakfast burrito. Um, I have like random stuff to do today. I have a story I need to start working on, um, some emails, scheduling stuff. So just some random things to do today. But anyway, um, I think I'll probably maybe go outside and take like a little walk. It's kind of gloomy. Um, I'll have to obviously put like a jacket on, but I'll probably go outside and take a walk just so I can get some fresh air and hopefully that'll help after I eat. Um, and then we'll get started with all the work we have to do for the day. I just took a walk, was like two-ish miles probably, felt nice. And now I've got some other random computer stuff to do, but Bill and I are also going to watch the other episode of The Rookie that came out uh, this week, because we only watched one last night and we watched two episodes of X-Men. So we're gonna watch The Rookie and then maybe some of the Abbott that we need to catch up on, but I think I'm gonna make a smoothie first to have while we watch. So let's make that now. I realized that I didn't have any chocolate protein powder when I went to take out the ingredients for this. So I added in chocolate chips. I don't know what possessed me to do that, but this is just 
oat milk, bananas that are frozen, uh, the chocolate chips, peanut butter, and vanilla protein powder. Normally I add chocolate protein powder to this because I love the chocolate peanut butter banana flavor, but we'll see how it is. It's pretty good. It's obviously a more banana forward than if I made it with the chocolate protein powder because the vanilla doesn't really like mask the banana very much, but it's pretty good. So let's go watch some TV. Time to make some dinner. I'm having one of the green onion pancakes from Trader Joe's. This is obviously vegan um, in the frozen section. And I am about to also cook some Japanese style fried rice. This is a favorite of mine from Trader Joe's. Let's toss it in. Um, yeah, this is dinner tonight. Um, Bill is at the movies, so that's where he is. And I'm gonna have a nice little night on the couch. I'm gonna eat my food, watch some Gilmore Girls. Then I'm probably gonna shower, go back to the couch and stitch while I watch Gilmore Girls. Um, and I'm feeling good about my little evening and my dinner. So that's what's going on. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna cook this up and enjoy my little solo night. Good morning, happy Friday. I wanted to pop in here real quick and end off the vlog. I hope that you enjoyed watching, seeing the stuff I got into over the past couple days, like my Disney morning, needle pointing, my grocery haul. I don't know what else I shared. I need to go through and start editing. But like I said, I hope that you enjoyed um, seeing this vlog. Let me know if you have any video ideas for anything you want to see coming up later this month. Like I mentioned, I'm doing a low spend month. So that video won't be up for like probably a month from now. Um, I need to look at my schedule because I have something at the end of the month that I'm going to film, which will probably have to go up the first weekend of May. Anyway, doesn't matter. Um, you'll see it when you see it, but just so you make sure you don't miss out on any future uploads, make sure you're subscribed down below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Like I said, let me know if you have any ideas for future videos and I'll see you in my next one again really soon. Bye.